my name is Helen Ramsey. I work at Abbott and I am the Operations Engineering Manager in the diabetes care business. I am Rachel Cook. I'm a Senior Reliability Engineering Manager at Amazon. My name is Simon Farrar and I am the Director of Major Hazards and Dangerous Goods at WorkSafe Victoria. I manage a team of over 100 engineers and responsible for delivering international engineering projects and 24 hours a day, seven days a week support for our production of glucose sensing technology. In my role, I lead a team of approximately 70 people based in eight different countries across Europe. And we set the reliability strategy, um, the maintenance best practices and general knowledge sharing across Amazon uh, to ensure that all our equipment runs reliably and smoothly. I lead the team that regulates and licenses the 40 major hazard facilities in the Australian state of Victoria. My team also regulates our state's dangerous goods facilities and we provide the technical expertise for statutory approvals and licensing of dangerous goods activities, such as explosives handling and dangerous goods transport. So engineering skills are really important to help you transition to more senior roles because what you learn as an engineer is really a way of thinking and a way of asking questions and seeing connections. The two key skills that helped me transition into different roles in engineering were team working and problem solving. Those two skills gave me the flexibility to change industries and also to work on some amazing projects. Over time, I have learned that no one works in isolation and it's been the softer and leadership skills that help me to be successful and transition through various roles. Skills like communication, influencing, teamwork and presentation skills. One of the key challenges for me in my career was when I ended my time as an engineer and then became a manager and managed a team which is now a large team of over 100 engineers and I realised I couldn't keep all the work that they do in my head at the same time but what I could do was create an environment where they could thrive and really bring all their expertise to work together to be able to deliver amazing solutions and really change the world. What I've found most challenging about my career so far is the recognition that people coming from the same base training background, such as chemical engineering, will still interpret and understand situations differently because people are also a product of their life and career experiences. In a senior management role, I have to balance multiple conflicting priorities, I have to assess risk and I have to be able to see the big picture as well as be able to focus on the detail when I need to. And as an engineer, these skills are really key to being able to be successful. So as a chemical engineer particularly, I have to look at the whole process and what that delivers for the business and then be able to go in and focus on any issue on a given day that has to get solved at that time. To be a really good manager, you need to see the connections between different programs. So it's very much systems thinking. Uh, you need to be able to, to dive deep into the data and to challenge it when it doesn't make sense, as well as see the broader, bigger picture and how the different systems or subsystems uh, interrelate. So there are some real uh, direct parallels between how you manage and lead uh, different teams and the engineering skills that you need to, to be a successful engineer. The engineering skill of adopting a structured or planned approach to solving problems and undertaking, undertaking work, be that work technical or management related, is really important part of being a good manager. I think it's important that engineers are represented at senior levels in organisations because engineers bring a perspective that is grounded in reality or what's possible and usually practical. Sometimes things are proposed at senior levels that are just not possible. I think it's important for engineers to be represented at senior levels in organisations because engineers are exciting people who drive change and are always asking why not but also they're able to balance risk and look at opportunities and see what will be good for the business for the future, which is why I think they make such good senior leaders. Engineers are often goal oriented and driven by delivering outcomes. And these can be beneficial skills to have depending on the nature of the organisation and the makeup of its senior management. So ensuring that diversity of thought. 
I've had many mentors throughout my career and each time they've been instrumental in giving me the encouragement and support to move from one role to the next or for helping me develop my thinking so that I can continue to grow. In fact, it was my current mentor who's responsible for me having my current role right now in reliability engineering, as he saw the potential for me in this team and he saw that when the role came around, he persuaded me to apply. I would encourage people considering prospective mentor or mentee relationships to open up the lines of communication as there are always people willing to step in to one or more of those roles, even in an informal capacity. I love mentoring and would recommend it to anyone doing chemical engineering. When I started as a chemical engineer, the Institution of Chemical Engineers found me my first mentor because I was not working with any other chemical engineers. And this mentor helped me on my journey to become chartered. And now I love mentoring others. I mentor many women in STEM and I learn just as much from them as ever I could share with them too. So I think one of the things that I'm really surprised about by my career is how absolutely none of it is how I would have planned it as a child, teenager, or even when I was at university. The world continues to change uh, and I've continued to change and adapt with it. And so probably the jobs and companies that people are gonna end up working for haven't even been created or started yet. And I think that's really important to, to understand Yes, you should take advantage of the opportunities uh, as they come along, but don't worry if things don't go to plan because what ends up happening may be even better than, than whatever your plan was. I would strongly encourage anybody considering careers in, around or transitioning from chemical engineering to really draw on those underlying skills that chemical engineers possess and pursue those opportunities because the underlying chemical engineering qualification opens a world of opportunities for people, uh, not only in their traditional industrial environments, but to help address many of the modern challenges that we face in the world today. Chemical engineers are vital to the way the future of the world is going to be. And so if you are a chemical engineer today, you have a very exciting and fulfilling career ahead of you. What I enjoy most about my current role is working with engineers. They're exciting individuals who want to change the world and that makes for a brilliant environment to work in. Chemical engineering matters because the discipline helps enrich the world we live in. From providing the products that people need to ensuring the safety of people working to make those products to helping solve global issues such as climate change.